Yes, and when we met, you looked fantastic, absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. And your business is amazing, and I, I suspect that eating this way has given you the energy to build the businesses that you have. Absolutely. It's, um, and, and to be, be honest with you, when I veer off a little bit, I can feel the changes, and veering off for me is eating a little cooked food. I think I'd like to explain to your listeners that I am a vegan, and that means I eat no meat, fish, chicken, or dairy, so I eat no animal products. But I'm also... Uh, very honest that I'm not a true vegan because I do wear leather. I don't wear fur, but I wear leather shoes. So a true vegan wouldn't even wear leather. Uh, haven't quite advanced to that yet. Who knows where the future will take me. But aside from being a vegan, eating no meat, fish, chicken, or dairy, I don't eat any cooked food. So I eat my food in the raw state the way I believe God intended every animal on the planet to eat their food. So when I veer off and can feel the difference, it's when I've eaten some cooked vegan food, and I can certainly feel my brain a little cloudier. I don't feel as sharp. I don't quite have the same energy. So um, I run right back to my raw vegan world. But um, it's, it's not, you know, you don't go from A to Z overnight. You don't automatically hear me speak or read a book and you become a raw vegan. I think it's a journey to work toward. And for me, one of the best things for people to do to start the journey is giving up what I call um, cow secretions, you know, anything in the um, butter, cheese, ice cream, milk, anything that people call dairy uh, in my world is one of the worst things that we do. You know, one of the breakthroughs I had was when I went back and looked at our anatomy as human beings, and I started comparing ourselves to carnivores and herbivores. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, anytime you spend time learning something, you're going to find something that's going to be amazing. Well, what I found was that a lot of our anatomy... Almost all of our anatomy is similar to that of herbivores. For one thing, our, our teeth grind. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have large fangs, and our jaws don't just move up and down like carnivores. Our jaw joint moves side to side. Our guts are very long, like the herbivores, whereas carnivores have very short guts. Right. So that when they eat the meat, first of all, they can tear the meat and they digest it very quickly, their body gets rid of it very fast because obviously meat cannot sit in your body very long. And, of course, their stomach has a lot of...